Hello everybody and welcome to our first Organic Chemistry 2 lecture, uh, part of the Chemistry Complete series. And today we are going to begin by talking about alcohols. So alcohols are a main functional group that we find on organic compounds. And we can give the general designation of R, where R represents the rest of the molecule, OH. And this represents a generalized alcohol in organic chemistry. Alcohols are hydroxyl groups, which is this portion here, attached to primarily sp3 hybridized carbons. So when we're talking about alcohols, we're looking at sp3 hybridized carbons. And there's several different types of alcohols. So this is the uh, general formula for a regular alcohol. There is also a group called a phenol. And a phenol is a benzene ring, an aromatic ring that has a hydroxyl group, just like that. That's a phenol. Now, phenols are more acidic than their counterparts, their regular alcohols. So these are going to be uh, greater in acidity, so more acidic than regular alcohols are. And we will have a lesson on alcohol acidity. Uh, regular alcohols are both acidic and basic, depending on the medium you put them in. And so the term we use for that is amphoteric. We would say that this is an amphoteric substance, uh, meaning that it can behave as an acid or base, similar to water. So if we look at the structure of water, water looks very similar to an alcohol, just like that, right? And so we have that OH group where this hydrogen could be uh, deprotonated in acidic form. So one of the other ones that I wanted to mention real quick is the idea of an enol. Now, if you've taken organic chemistry one, you should have been exposed briefly to the idea of enols because when we talked about uh, alkynes, which are triple bonds, we ended up with enol intermediates that would switch over to keto forms when we were attempting to do hydration. So you may have heard of the term enol, okay, or come across it. We're not going to focus on enols too much during the alcohol chapter because enols have their own special set of chemistry that we will focus on in a later chapter. Uh, it's going to get its own dedicated chapter. Phenols, we may discuss a little bit in this chapter, but we're really going to save some of the phenols uh, for the benzene chapter and the aromatics chapter. We will discuss their acidity, however. Um, and again, enol, uh, for those of you that may have forgotten, the EN represents an alkene, as in E-N-E, -E, that's how we normally name alkenes, and OL is going to be how we name alcohols, which we will be talking about in the next lesson, naming alcohols. And so combining EN and all, we get enol, which is essentially saying we've got an alcohol that is directly attached to an alkene of some sort. So, we already mentioned that alcohols can be acidic or basic. In this case, phenols are primarily acidic. And so, the other thing we wanted to mention really quick in this opening lecture is that you can have, and again, this terminology should be of no great surprise to you, primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. We've talked about carbocations and things like that. So, a primary alcohol is going to be an alcohol that's got one other R group, and I'm gonna zoom in here just a little bit, and it has two hydrogen groups, right? So that would be a primary. And a secondary alcohol would be a carbon that contains an alcohol between two other R groups and only has one hydrogen, so that's a secondary alcohol. And then finally, we can have tertiary alcohols where we've got three surrounding R groups and we've got the alcohol group, and that would be a tertiary alcohol. Okay, so primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols, all potential alcohol functional groups, and we are going to look at some of the naming in detail in the next lesson. So I will see you guys there.